Hello. Today we're going to build the Ultimate Boot CD. It's a live CD that runs a mini version of Windows with a variety of pre-installed free applications for the purpose of diagnosing, repairing, and restoring computers. We'll need the UBCD for Win executable. We need a Windows XP or Windows 2003 server CD. We need a CD burner and CDs, a Windows computer, and a program to burn some ISO files. The first step is we'll download the UBCD for Windows file at their main website. At the main website, we'll go to the download section and choose a mirror. I'll choose lucky number seven, and I'll save that to my desktop. And it takes a little bit to download. It's 184 megabytes. The next step is to install the UBCD for Win executable. And first, we're going to check the version of our Windows CD. It needs to be Service Pack 1 or Service Pack 2 if it's Microsoft XP, or it needs to be Windows Server 2003. I'll go take a look at the CD I have in the drive and I'll show you where you can tell what the version is. Right down at the bottom here you can see an extension on that file that says SP2. I'm using XP Professional Service Pack 2. Next we'll run the executable file and go through the setup wizard. choose your language here and we'll go through the setup. Here's the EULA, accept the agreement. I'm going to accept the default installation location. and coming up it's going to verify the integrity of our file and I'm going to choose yes. It's asking for the location of the executable file which is on my desktop. And this file checks out fine so I say OK. enumerating some files and folders. This takes quite a while. Next it's going to check for some missing files and after that it checks to see if any files were added. The download seems to be complete and we are now ready to go. Now we can check to see if there's any patches or updates for this. Mine is fine, there are no updates available. And we can launch UBCD for Win Builder. Now we're going to configure some plugins which will be, I'm going to do a anti-spyware and a mass storage driver pack. Here it says search for installation file. Say no. We know where the source is. It's on my CD and for me it's drive F. So I'll just point to that. Drive F. And in the custom field you can leave that alone. And I will leave the output at the default and I'm going to be creating an ISO image down here. Now I'll go to the plugins.
here's a list of all the plugins. There's quite a few in here. You can scroll down and see them. Down at the bottom, there's some buttons to configure the plugins. We're going to go take a look at the anti spyware program, AdAware. And I'm going to just it says config to update, so I want to get updated definitions. And it's going to go out to the internet and download the current definitions. I'll go take a look and verify that they were added. It was awfully quick. Go to the UBCD for Win folder. Go into plugins, anti spyware, add aware. And right there is a file defs.ref and I can see that the update is current. It's got the current date for me. I'm going to go over now and check that it's enabled still. If you need to enable it, there's a button there. Now let's go take a look at the mass storage driver pack. Right here it says it's not enabled and press config to enable the drivers. So we'll press config and it begins the driver pack installation. This takes quite a while as well. Now when it's finished you go down and you will need to press the refresh button to see the driver pack plugin that was added. When we look down here we can see one says driver pack press config to enable drivers and it not enabled. Now that one you cannot enable, but it did add a plugin below it. It says driver pack mass storage text mode. That one can be enabled and disabled. So make sure that it says yes or it's driver pack mass storage text mode. Also while we're here, let's check to see if there's anything in the critical plugins area if you're using service pack 1 that you need to enable or to change and have a look through the rest of the plugins to see if there's anything you would like to update or change and after we do that we'll go and build the UBCD for Win Builder ISO file so let's close out of here and go over and build our ISO Now we're going to create the folder and agree to your user license agreement and it begins building. This is somewhat a lengthy process. I'm going to check and see if there's any errors. At the top you can see if there's any errors or warnings. You want to keep your eye on that area. If you get any errors or warnings, you need to go back and check to see what you can do to correct those. Now the ISO has been successfully created with zero errors and zero warnings. We're in good shape here. We can close this and we'll now go about uh, burning the CD. We're going to go over to the UBCD for Win folder and scroll down to find our ISO file. Here it is, ubcdwinbuilder.iso file. 
And I'm going to burn that using a free program called Image Burn. You can find that on the internet. Here it is here, and we are ready to burn the CD. The operation was successfully completed and that concludes our how to build the ultimate boot CD for Windows tutorial.